hello Scorpio welcome to your taroscope angels divine spirits and guides I invite you now to come in and help me and there we have it to deliver messages to Scorpio choices make the best choices on the bottom of the deck we have enlightenment pursue your spiritual growth is someone ascending here that's my ascending card someone is realizing that they have spiritual abilities angels divine spirits and guides i invite you now to come in Ooh, first card up is the death card that is in your past. So something has ended, dear Scorpio. What other messages do you have for Scorpio from September 22nd to October 21st? Angels, show my Scorpio friends end the world card that's a major ending scorpio what ended oh my goodness new direction all right two more cards angels please for scorpio um all right they gave us four we'll take them the tower the ten of pentacles eight of wands and ten of wands and bottom of the deck we have the four of wands well i love that energy it's a beautiful okay we have one two three four five major arcanas this is a general reading for scorpio sun moon rising and venus it's not going to resonate with everyone out there but if I am picking up on your energy today, please don't forget to hit the little thumbs up button below the video. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. If you have done that, thank you so much. I love my subscribers. I love your comments. I read every single comment and they are greatly appreciated. I'm not going to get into a long drawn out introduction today if there's anything else that you need to know about me it is in the description box below so the first card that we have for your past scorpio is the death card sign of scorpio you had a major ending here to something that just wasn't successful this could have been a relationship it could have been a job could be somebody's moving also there's a lot of movement here but the nine of pentacles sign of virgo is in reverse so something end in here and now you're single and you don't have the confidence to be on your own but the world is also there that's a successful completion it's an ending to a major chapter there's also three tens here something big is ending for you Scorpio it already has the world card signifies to me it's like the death of the old you it's a whole new you it's like happy birthday happy new year it's a major ending to a chapter but it's successful but for some reason you don't have the confidence to go in this new direction you're rejecting it with this enlightenment card here, I do feel like somebody could be ignoring messages from the universe. Like they're just standing there and they're saying, I didn't see that. I didn't hear that. I'm just going to ignore that. This is not following your gut, not using your intuition. The universe is trying to tell you something. You do have the 1111 here as your overall energy. And you just, you're not listening. Doubting your abilities. Doubting your abilities? 
I feel like you're not making good choices. Somebody's worried about their stability. Nine of Pentacles is someone who feels like they can't do it on their own. I'm not good enough. I don't have the confidence in myself. I can't end this situation. I can't make it on my own. I can't start my own business. I can't change jobs. It's like you know you want to. I feel like that's the signs that are coming in. The world card is about, first of all, I feel like it could be about the World Wide Web. World communication. I got communication here. I got admired. And I got divine feminine. So, and this is also my internet card, Eight of Wands. So somebody is like admired on the internet here. People like you. If you have any kind of trips or vacations or anything coming up, I feel like you could meet a new love while you're traveling, but you're going to reject them. It's not taking the offer, not being interested not being interested in the new direction, not following your gut about the new direction, not having confidence in the new direction or taking action. That's movement. If you are ignoring messages from spirit, they're going to get stronger. I feel like someone is res resisting going in this new direction or taking this action because of money issues. You got the nine and the ten of pentacles both in reverse and your overall energy is the four of wands which is your stability someone's worried about their stability so they're not going to take the offer but you're supposed to take the offer you're meant to take this offer from either this new person this new job this new business this is all happening for a reason high priestess in reverse sign of pisces is more doubt it does signify a secret coming out, a secret about somebody leaving. If you had made a decision to leave someone or let something go, this other person's not going to accept it. Somebody's resisting the change in denial. They're going to keep coming at you and keep coming at you because they don't want to be single. They can't do it on their own. They don't want to split up the assets. They don't want to sell the house. The Knight of Wands in the center of the reading, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Very quick movement offer. Something that you're very passionate about. You're ignoring something that you're passionate about. I feel like something has a lot of potential here. And somebody just doesn't want to do it. The Four of Cups sign of Cancer is about rejection. Not taking the offer. I don't want to talk about it. But it's also energy of being sad and wanting something more. You do want this new direction. Either you're resisting it or the other person is resisting it. If you're in a relationship with someone, and this could even be a job, you know you don't want to be there anymore. I feel like somebody's even praying, saying like, when is this going to be over? How much longer am I going to have to deal with this? Well, it's right here in front of you. It's as plain as black and white. Somebody either doesn't want to move, doesn't want to travel. We do have two, the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Both to me signify the family home. Like one person wants this to end and wants to split the assets. And the other person's like, no, let's talk about it. And this person's saying, I don't want to talk about it. I'm just leaving. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse is resisting it, resisting the universe. You can't resist the Wheel of Fortune. You can't resist the Tower. This is going to happen. I feel like somebody's just delaying it, delaying the inevitable, being in denial. And I feel like this could be spiritual abilities. Let's just say that you worked for this company for a long time and you're starting to receive messages from spirit. I feel like they're really strong too. You could have just like seen something out of the corner of your eye. And you're like, nope, I didn't see that. It didn't happen. There's four aces. All four aces are in this card. The ace of pentacles, ace of wands, ace of swords, and ace of cups. 
There's four new beginnings that are being resisted here. We also have three tens here. Did I say that? Ten, ten, and ten. The only birthdays I'm really getting would be 11, 13, and 11, 10. Also with the four of wands, 11, 11. What are we got under there? Nine of swords reverse, Gemini, 10 of swords. It's going to happen. There's another 10. Someone could be re resisting letting go of a home that they cannot afford. If you did lose your job over here, you're still holding on to this home and it's just going to keep getting harder and harder. This is a lot of effort to keep something going, a lot of hard work. The tower in reverse, sign of Scorpio again. I feel like somebody's avoiding ending something because it's going to be painful. So they're just staying there. It is a realization though. You're ignoring something and hoping it will go away. It's not. I feel like there was communication here and you told somebody that you're leaving and they're not having it. You're not moving out. You're not selling this house. We're not getting a divorce. You're not leaving this job, but you just don't know how much longer you can keep doing this. Communication about releasing the burden. But there's also communication about being admired. Understanding signs. Understanding and signs. Return. Hmm. Somebody's saying, no, please come back. Please don't leave. What did they do? I mean, I don't really see any apology or anything here. Somebody could have been neglecting their family because they were working. Like you're always working and we feel rejected. So I'm just leaving. The other person's like, no, you're not. But I'm also getting the feeling like this other person is obsessed with money. Like that's why they're always working. If you think that they're cheating or something like that, I don't think that they are. Let's pull a few Kipper cards. Um, this person really loves you, I feel like. It is going to end. Angels, what messages, expectation is waiting? You know, I go back to that and this woman is sitting at the window here and she's waiting. She's waiting for something. She's expecting something and it's not coming. And she's like, when is it going to come? I feel like there's a woman here who could be sitting at the window waiting for her husband or significant other person to come home. She feels lonely. She doesn't want to do this anymore. I'm doing all this work myself. You're never here. You don't take care of the kids. You ignore us. The other person's like, I'm doing this for us. That's why I work so hard. This person could travel for work. They could leave a lot. That's an October 28th birthday. Angels, what other messages? This one? Yep, working too hard. Toil and labor. Toil and labor is, it's not enjoyable work. It's something that you don't want to do. It's something you feel like you have to do. You see how she's turning her back on the person who's working hard. Like she doesn't want to hear it. Bottom of the deck, we have child. You could either be the child. Or you have children with this person. You need to make better choices. Now this is someone that doesn't want to be worried about the stability. Like this person could be working really hard to hold on to this expensive home when all they really need to do is just sell the home. I know this sounds simple, right? Just sell the home, let it go because you can't afford it. It's too much work. And then you can work less and you can spend time with your family. Somebody's being ignored. Can we get one more? 
angels. That one. Journey. Again. Leaving. Another 10. This person's leaving for work. Or you're leaving them because they're always working. This could also be someone who wants to leave their job to do some type of home-based business, maybe so they could be home with their children and the employer isn't going to let you go. They're like, let's talk about it. Can you think about this a little longer? Can you stay a little longer? Please don't leave. Whatever this is, I do feel like you're going to leave. I mean, it's over. It's all over this reading. Death, the world, four tens. Somebody could be leaving their job because they're being admired on the internet. Getting a lot of followers, a YouTube channel, a blog, some type of website or something like that. There's a lot of communication here. Someone's very good at what they do. You are admired. If that's resonating with you. This is world travel, air travel. You could get some kind of offer to leave your job and go do something that you don't think that you have the ability to do. Like, I can't do that. Because there is a lot of no confidence here. But guess what? 1111, spirit is trying to show you something and you're the one that's in denial. You're the one that thinks that you don't have enough money to do this. You don't think you'll be successful. You don't have the confidence. Someone wants to move forward and let go of this. I'm going to pull a few crystal angels. Angels. Wow, that came out right away. Clearing negativity. Release negativity from within and around you. So, I'm kind of getting the feeling that they don't want you to listen to this person who wants you to stay. Let's read that one for more information. You drew this card because there's a need to clear away negative energy from within or around you. This could be negativity in your present life or some grievance from your past that you have been harboring and have had difficulty forgiving. Fortunately, you don't need to consciously know which form of negativity you are clearing, nor are you advised to analyze it. After all, focusing upon negativity only gives it strength and power. You need some self-care to clear yourself right now. This could take form of praying for God, Jesus, and Archangel Michael to lift away what doesn't serve you. You may even want to ask a trusted religious or spiritual healer for help with this process. So that's your Reiki. Somebody needs some Reiki healing. Somebody needs some sage. Somebody needs to get away from whatever is bringing you down and making you doubt yourself. You do have the ability to do this, Scorpio. You want to be happy. You want to have... You want to be surrounded by people who love you. Hmm. We'll take that one. Spiritual or religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. Still, once again, this has been coming up in a lot of the readings. Somebody's ignoring their, their, their psychic abilities, their abilities. That's why somebody is resisting the change and in denial about their abilities because even though the Hierophant isn't here, I feel like someone's telling you that it's not right and you need to get away from these people because they're negative about your abilities and they're bringing you down and you need to be surrounded by people who do believe in the same beliefs that you have. That is like my Hierophant card. A spiritual group can be very empowering, whatever it is. 
just Google it. Google what's going on in your neighborhood, whatever your beliefs are. If you're a medium, because I feel like there's messages here that somebody is ignoring, like a medium circle. You need to be with like-minded people. If you're a tarot reader, look for classes in your area, a retreat. There's a lot of travel here. Somebody could be going to a retreat, one of those weekend getaways where you do meditation, yoga, and eat healthy, and connect with your spirit guides. That could be what the offer is. You have a friend who is extending the offer to you and you're rejecting it. You need to be around people who share your beliefs and clear the negativity of the people that don't believe in what you believe in. Let's get one more. Angels, do you have one more card? All right. Natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. You are authentic. I feel like somebody's saying, why did God make me this way? Why are the angels talking to me? Why do I have all of these visions? Why do I see these things? Because you're special. You're authentic. The angels have chosen you to get their messages out into the world. Be the wonderful and amazing person that you are. And don't be in denial about your gifts. If someone is offering you a place to go, maybe even a new job in your field, I feel like you should go for it. I'm really getting the strong feeling that somebody's very gifted here. Let your natural beauty shine through. Let the world see you for who and what you truly are. The natural beauty is um, someone who could be, because I'm kind of seeing that in the Nine of Pentacles over there, uh, letting go of makeup, hair dye, fancy shoes, fancy clothes. Just, it's like a natural person. Getting rid of you know, household cleaners and things like that that have chemicals in them, maybe using vinegar to clean, uh, baking soda, natural remedies. Anyway, Scorpio, we're going to move into angel answers. On the bottom of the deck, we do have control issues. Uh, utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. Somebody is trying to control you here. Somebody is telling you that your gift, your whatever it is that you're doing isn't right. You shouldn't be doing that. You need to cut it out. So you're going to do it because that's what people are telling you. And the universe is upset about it. That's why you need to be around the like-minded people so that you will start to believe in yourself and have faith in yourself for this gift that you have. If you have this opportunity to you know, find a class um, or go away for a retreat or something. Just Google it. There's tons of them out there. Look on Facebook for, um, there's number one, for Facebook groups of spiritual people and, and you know, start commenting. And, and there's even groups out there. I've seen that they'll post like a picture. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but I saw it on Facebook. And then you can comment on the photo below and tell them what you see. And they'll tell you if you're right. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. So I think that you should pursue your spiritual growth here. Scorpio, you are gifted. It's time to put an end to something and go in this new direction. Stop listening to other people telling you that Whatever it is that you're doing isn't right. And I feel like you're going to be really happy. Stop worrying about your stability. We'll take that one. All right. Hopefully you were focusing on your question while I was shuffling. On the bottom of the deck, you're ready. It couldn't be more plain as day. You can now pick one, two, or three. 
Only pick one number. Don't change your mind and reach way down in your gut and listen to your gut. And here are your answers, Scorpio. The situation will improve. Take action. There's something better. So if you are worried about your stability, worried about your money, thinking that you can't do something, whatever it is, that will improve. But you have to take action because there is something better. Once you join this group with these like-minded people, it will make your situation improve. You'll start feeling better about yourself. I feel like that's what this is about. Wow, you're ready and take action. Don't be in denial, Scorpio. I am going to leave that there. The universe has spoken. Thank you so much for watching, Scorpio. I'll see you soon.